Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel, Kamalam Gundanum Leche. And on this channel, says Bogama Reality Shows, it's Alam Zanzi Basis Zizala. Zokulum Alam Shows, Sepina Fitzkulum, and Master Lipses Ganama YouTube as it's Alam Zanzi. You guys remember oh, Maurice Page? Maurice Page was, uh, is an actor. It's just that I personally haven't seen him in uh, much productions, but I'm sure he's done a lot. And I just remember him from Isi Dingo back in the day, you know, back in the days when his thing was still really, really hot. And he came in very, very young at that time. So Omari's uh, page, apparently he was in this uh, comedy show attending. Uh, it sounds like he was one of the audience members and uh, one comedian told a joke that wasn't really um, a nice joke to tell you know where they, they say sometimes it's too soon to joke about the situation this was one of those uh, instances and he had to walk out very emotional crying because one comedian made a joke about um, aka and his passing and the way that he was taken out I find that you guys people are very hurt with aka and I don't think that in South Africa really we've seen anything like this people are very hurt and so anything that you say when it comes to this story is really 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 sensitive it touches people the wrong way I think it's even worse if you're going to make a joke about it and um, and, and and joke about his uh, the way that he was uh, his life was taken you know so and uh, so but I'm going to go through this article that explains exactly what happened in this comedy show and what they think might have gone wrong that had made Maurice page walk out of the interview in tears okay this uh, story is written by Venetia Valentine for IOL. It says, Comedians distasteful aka joke prompts actor Maurice Page to exit the comedy show. So, this story is being told by the person writing a story uh, who is the one that experienced or saw what happened with Maurice walking out of, of, the, in, of the comedy show and also in, got to interview him afterwards to understand what happened, why he walked out and all of that. So it says, I recently attended uh, the Savannah Newcomer Showcase held in a homecoming center in Cape Town. There were a number of well-established comedians from in and around Cape Town in attendance. For the first time, the SNS event came to Cape Town, and we were excited to witness 20 fresh comedians backing it uh, in uh, in five minutes slots each to prove their comedic talent in front of established comedians and a difficult crowd of people who weren't just laughing at any joke, but those that earned the laugh. The Savannah Newcomer Showcase is the first in a series of build-up events uh, ahead of the upcoming Savannah Comic Choice Comedy Awards and has become a stable in the annual comedy calendar. My friend Angelique and I were seated in the fourth row from the stage and had a perfect view. So Shalk Bezerenord was the MC and really kept the crowd entertained between the sets and was very hilarious in his commentary after each comedian was done. But what happened halfway through the show left the audience in a bitter mood. I for one was shocked by the experience. A German based comedian walked in uh, onto stage and within five minutes of his set made a distasteful joke about the late Kinen. Forbes on the same day of his memorial um, moral service. The comedian joked about being from Durban and apologized for the recent negative publicity surrounding the hometown, his hometown and then joked about the way AKA was killed. I couldn't believe he made an AKA joke about his death while most people were mourning the death of Super Mega. Did this comedian also not know that he was in his hometown uh, in Cape Town while he was making this bad joke. Now I know that you will probably brush it off saying, ah, it's just comedy. Things like this happen, but this was just too much for that moment. Actor Maurice Page immediately stood up and shouted from three rows behind me, yo, mercy, P, at the top of his lungs. The entire theater came to an awkward silence and people started to boo the comedian who clearly saw he was heading for disaster. Page stormed out of the theater as he burst into tears and said, that is my brother you are making jokes of. The man died last week and his memorial is today. Don't you have any respect? I caught up with him uh, after the show 
and he said it's personal for me i knew kenan personally and because of this um he's uh, because he's also a uh, colored uh, from cape town i felt that this was going too far i don't think the joke was appropriate you don't make such a joke about anyone the way he died was vicious and you can't make a joke about the way he was taken out I know it's comedy show, but comedians need to know when to make a perfect joke at a perfect time. I know comedians want to use what is relevant at the time, but not something like this. Not the way that AKA was taken out. Man, that's just too sensitive. Captain comedian uh, Stuart Taylor and Kerwin David shared tips on what comedians need to steer clear of, uh, especially uh, bad jokes. Often it's not so much about what is appropriate as opposed to what is funny because that's where the comics miss the mark. Read the room. There is an age old edge that says tragedy, tragedy plus time equals comedy. You can make fun of anything if enough time or enough water is under the bridge. I am writing about my own traumas, but you need to let the dust cycle before you take it on. There is a thing called too soon. Sometimes the wound is just too raw for you to make jokes about. Unless it was phenomenally funny, scrap that out then and do the funnier. This is an art form, a form of expression. Sometimes things work out, other times it doesn't. The line we speak of is based on the individual and the audience. Comedy is about taking risks and that's where you understand where the line is for yourself. Listen, you guys, uh, do, that, do I think that this comedian meant harm? I don't think that he meant harm, but I don't think that he really thought it um, thoroughly, the jokes that he was about to make. It clearly was in the right time and it clearly was in the right place because he was at the place of uh, AKA's hometown. But I also don't know if this jo the jokes would have been appropriate anywhere else. They don't mention in this article who the name of the uh, comedian is. Maybe it's intentionally so maybe because they don't want people to know who that comedian is. But I hope that he can offer an apology because it was not the right time to make such jokes. And I don't think that they ever, there's ever going to be the right time to make such jokes. And I, I mean, people are hurting, you know, like Maurice says that this is something that is personal to him. He knew AKA personally. So if somebody is making such jokes, he's going to be hit by that situation. Anyway, you guys, please tell me what you think about this story in the comment section. Also like the video before, you want to share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda Kakul.